So, we've made our dilution series. We've got our 10 to the negative 1 all the way down to the 10 to the negative 5. Notice how that, as we go down our dilution series, the color starts to get weaker and weaker, which is good, meaning that we've made our dilution series correctly. In your instance, you'll be dealing with bacteria, so you should notice that the, ter the turbidity of your tubes decreases as you get more and more dilute. We will be doing what is called the spread plate method today. We want to make sure that we've got our nutrient auger plates already poured, and we're going to label them appropriately. My lab manual tells me that I need to use the 10 to the negative 2 dilution for this experiment, so I'm going to label my plate as 10 to the negative 3. The reason why I'm labeling it as 10 to the negative 3 is because I'm only going to be dispensing 0.1 mils onto this plate. I've got my 10 to the negative 2 dilution. I'm going to open that aseptically. And my lab manual tells me that I need to deliver 0.1 mil, as should yours. If not, make sure you follow it appropriately. Our 0.1 mil is only filling the tip, okay? which is a lot different than filling all the way up to the zero line, which would be 1 mil. We're only delivering 0.1, so we fill to the tip. I'm going to be very carefully recap my solution and put that into my test tube rack, open up my plate and dispense my liquid directly onto the plate, either by pushing the plunger down or using the dial. Once I've done that, I discard my pipette in the appropriate biohazard bin. I then need to grab a spreader, or affectionately known as a hockey stick. The spreader, we're going to use that by applying pressure to the auger as well as where our bacteria was dispensed. Notice how although I'm applying pressure, it's gentle enough in that I am not destroying the nutrient auger. If I'm pressing too hard, I'll start to see that the auger will tear and I don't want that to happen. We want to avoid that as much as possible, so very carefully spreading along the surface of the nutrient auger, applying it to everything so we get nice even distribution. We will cap our plate up, take our spreading stick and place it in the biohazard bin. We now have a plate with a 10 to the negative 3 dilution on it. We'll then incubate these appropriately in the incubator.